Hello everybody, Vidium here and today I just, I actually do not do this, uh, I do not do video blogs or something like that, but from time to time I will be making video blogs uh, just to talk about things that, that I've been hearing uh, and I really want to give my opinion on the subject and right now uh, one of the main subjects in the video game world right now is Tatsunoku versus Capcom. Uh, and I know that I already uh, made some videos on this game. And there's a lot of uh, game reviews on this game right now on YouTube. But I really want to address a specific theme, a, a specific subject that I've been hearing uh, from quite a while since the game was released on January 26th and uh, one of the reasons uh, that I really wanted to say this is I have in my hands uh, the Game Informer uh, 202 uh, issue uh, this is the February issue on um, Game Informer and on page 96 they have an article on Taxinoko vs. Capcom. And on the header, it said Taxinoko vs. Capcom Ultimate All Star. Simplified mechanics make flash combat accessory. And I've been hearing this in a lot of reviews that I've been seeing. There's a lot of great reviews on YouTube right now. But uh, a few of them actually are repeating what other reviews are saying that appear in magazines or uh, they say on TV or anything like that and they're talking about the the way that Capcom simplified the controller. Uh, now you have exactly three attack buttons on the game. You have the low, medium and high and they actually say that the simplicity of those controllers, of uh, the, the tag buttons, uh, are so easy to use that anyone can actually jump in into the action and kick ass. And that is how, uh, what I've been hearing. And they're saying that this game actually is the easiest one on the versus uh, lineup. And they're saying that the game is so simple and so easy that anyone can actually jump in. And the truth is that that is absolutely untrue. That is false. It's completely untrue. Why I say this? I'm a very experienced uh, video game fighter. I uh, really love fighting games and I've been playing fighting games since the original Street Fighter was on the arcades. And one of the things that I, I say about fighting games is that you cannot play fighting games the same way all the time because all fighting games, all the, the same thing is fighting. Uh, they are very different from each other. Different mechanics, different fighting engines are being used on these games. And right now, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom is no exception. There's a new fighting engine that this game has. Now, I just want to go very quickly and as you know, the first three games from the Versus series, which is X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, and the original Marvel vs. Capcom. All of them possess the six button layout. Uh, this is a Sega Saturn controller. This is the Sega Saturn controller I use to play X Men vs. Street Fighter and Marvel uh, Super Hero vs. Street Fighter uh, because of the six button layout. But Capcom actually started to focus in, uh, uh, in a new direction in how to simplify the controllers, uh, less buttons to use. And this is not the first time that Capcom actually does this. As you all know, in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, the number of buttons were dropped from, uh, from 6 to 4. Uh, 
and the Sega Dreamcast controller is the best example of how to play uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 as before bottom layout. Now, all that the Capcom did is just drop one of the buttons and have three instead of four. And that doesn't make the game simpler. Uh, I do not have a router, so I haven't been able to be online all that all along, online very often. But I've been in my brother's house, and he actually has been playing online. And I've been seeing a lot of people playing online. And what I see is completely the opposite of what these articles and all these uh, reviews have been saying of Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. I have been seeing people that are doing a lot of combos on this new system, this new engine. Uh, the simplicity of having just three buttons is not that easy because if you hit the three buttons in sequence, uh, low, medium and high, you will have a three hit combo but you actually can do a six hit combo with just those two buttons. The only thing is yes, you have to hit uh, low standing, low by crouching, medium standing, medium crouching, then high uh, standing, then high again crouching or uh, taking your opponent to the air. And that is exactly a six button, uh, a six hit combo with just three buttons and not everybody can actually pull that off without actually practicing those combos first and I'm telling you I've been having a lot of uh, trouble playing uh, because I'm still trying to get uh, acquainted with this new system I already have started to practice uh, my house I haven't been able to play that much as my brothers my brother has been connected since the game of mine and he hasn't taken the game out of his Wii since the game arrived. So he's stayed inside the Wii since the game, the game got here. Uh, right now, what I'm showing you right now is a 30 hit combo that my brother is doing with Zero without using a super move, without using a, a high a high move. He, This is all just normal hits, normal hits. And what I really want to go in this is that unless you actually go in, learn the new system, there's a lot of people that have been playing for a year now that will be using the Japanese version of the game. But uh, people like me that I, I started to use the game uh, on January, uh, January 26 when the game came out, uh, we still have to learn this new system. It's a new engine, it's a new button layout with the new ways to do combos. Very, very exciting combos. Uh, a lot of hits. The combos, the combinations that you can do in combos here is uh, phenomenal. Uh, there's also a combo that I was able to pull off uh, with my brother uh, using Ryu and Joe from Gachiman, which actually hits 50, uh, 50 hits. Uh, using normal moves, air moves, and a super combo, a super, uh, hyper combo. But the things that I really want to go is that the game is not that simple. The game it actually has a science. You have really have to learn how to play in this game. And unless you are acquainted with the original versus games, it's gonna be a really hard time for you to play this game against another person. Playing against the, the CPU is one thing, playing with another person is another. And the game is not as simplistic as they say. The game has a flawless, flawless engine. And I really hope to see more on this engine and new games.